Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm basically going to be giving you an overview of all the information that Rockstar provided to IGN about Heist, their release, how it's going to work, how you're going to get paid, and what ultimately the final product is going to be like when we're all able to play Heist in early 2015. So again, if you enjoy videos like this, I definitely recommend you hit that subscribe button. I do daily GTA 5 videos like this, and I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any of the Heist gameplay content that I'm going to be providing for you in early 2015. So let's get started. So essentially the way the article worked was IGN was doing an interview with an employee at Rockstar, Imran, and they were asking him questions about, you know, heist, you know, how it came together, what's the end product gonna be. So it's kind of a format like that. They go back and forth with question and answer. And the first question IGN asked is obviously the big one. Why has it taken so long for heist to come out? And they essentially responded that it was a lot more difficult than they originally thought. The concept of a story mode heist was much different than a Grand Theft Auto Online heist because you had to get everyone involved. There couldn't be a part where one person was just standing off to the side, kind of like there is in the single player heist because you only have to operate one character. Whereas in Grand Theft Auto Online, you're gonna have four people coming together at once and they all need to have a stake in the outcome. They basically said that creating missions for complex multiple players at the same time was much more difficult than they anticipated. And every time they thought they were close, they had a big setback. And knowing that the fact that players are already knew about heist, it made the pressure that much more challenging to get it right. So they give us some information that says heists are going to be available on PS4, Xbox One, PC, Xbox 360, and PS3. So this is very cool and they also say that heists are very close and they're going to be ready in early 2015. Now we get a little bit of a timeline because they confirm that it's going to be on the PC version, meaning that it's unlikely going to be released before January 27th, 2015, which is the release of the PC version of Grand Theft Auto 5. So if I had to take a guess, I would say it would be released around February, March, or April. Maybe give the PC guys one month to complete the campaign dive into online and then finally maybe about a month or so later they finally release heist to everyone on all platforms and on all consoles so ign asks how does a heist work and this guy responds by saying each heist requires four players all at the rank 12 or above with one player as the designated heist leader leading a heist requires owning a high-end apartment so that you'll have a room available to set up a planning board from there you'll be able to launch missions as the leader starting with the prep work and building up to the score itself being a heist leader has advantages and disadvantages on the upside lester contacts the leader directly when there's news of a job and it's up to the leader to invite players into the crew assign positions pick outfits and allocate each player's cuts. On the other hand, the heist leader will need to personally front the setup costs in order to successfully pull off the heist. So basically, there's give and take as a leader. As a leader, you're in charge, but you also have to give up a little bit of money up front to make sure the heist goes well, and you're also in charge of putting together the right plan of action, the right crew, and how they're eventually going to tackle the heist. So he goes on to say that some of the missions have all the players working as one unit, some requires player to take on a specific task like hacking or crowd control, while other players split into smaller teams to complete high separate value objectives so this is very cool so IGN also asked, how many heists will you launch with? This was a big question because we really wanted heists to be something that gave us lots of longevity in Grand Theft Auto Online. And Imran says there are going to be five unique strands, including over 20 total missions, which will add up to over 20 hours of gameplay. We hope that players will then replay them multiple times, take advantage of the multiple roles, and try different ways of tackling the missions. So he also talks about payouts a little bit, and they say we have several rewards for players as well, such as for playing all five heists in order with the same set of players and bonus for playing them in first person mode as well as elite bonus challenges which is essentially a big cash reward if you complete each part of the heist while meeting a certain criteria such as time to complete damage damage taken and accuracy so that's basically the rundown i'll include a link in the description if you want to check out the full article for yourself he answers a few more questions like what's his favorite heist and what they plan on next but he pretty much gives you a rock star answer like they don't want to look too far into the future and you know they're just very happy at what they have on the table right now so heists look to be very promising and pretty awesome in my opinion i'm very excited to get my hands on this game mode i'm going to be playing with you guys all my friends all my fans this is going to be great and i'm bound to have a wonderful time doing all the heist missions in gta online so i'm very excited let me know what your favorite part of heist is in the comment section down below be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you like daily gta 5 videos like this without the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video.